Hello, I am from learnlikepro.com. In this tutorial, we are going to see about syllogisms. We have already seen some videos about syllogisms and in the previous tutorials, we have discussed about definite or direct statements. And in this video, we are going to learn about possibility statements. Possibility statements in syllogisms uh, are not given directly. Instead, they will be given using some possibility words like uh, here, may be, might be, being possible, may not be, in this way. The statements will be given including these words. So, let us see some examples. Here comes the first example. See, let us see the statements here. First statement says, all flowers are white and some white or beautiful. So, we already know that we have to draw a Venn diagram first. So, here, all flowers are white and some white or beautiful. So, this figure represents the statements. Now let us see the conclusions. First conclusion says no white is a flower. No white is a flower. But in this figure we can clearly see that all flowers are white. If all, flower, all flowers are white then some white will be flowers and some flower will be white. So there is a no point of saying no flower is white. So this conclusion doesn't follow. This conclusion doesn't follow. And next let us see the second, second conclusion. So here comes, this is called a possibility statement. See, uh, see here, you can see all flowers being beautiful is a possibility. He says, all flowers can be beautiful. So all flowers being beautiful is a possibility. What we have to do about possibility statements is, we have to draw another, a rough, another rough diagram based on these conclusions. We have to draw another diagram. We have to draw a complete diagram. But... The diagram should satisfy this conclusion. So we have to draw, we have here we have drawn the rough diagram which satisfies this condition. See, this shows all flowers being beautiful is a possibility. Okay, here it shows all flowers are beautiful. And we also know all flowers are white. Okay, after drawing the diagram for possibility statement, then we have to check whether that statement satisfies the given statements or not whether this figure satisfies the given statements or not if this figure satisfy, satisfies the given statements then that conclusion will follow let us check it see all flowers are white this figure shows all flowers are white and some white are beautiful so some white are beautiful so this figure satisfies both the statements so this conclusion follows okay I hope you understood and next we'll go to another conclusion this is direct conclusion this is some beautiful or white some beautiful or white you can directly see in the figure that some beautiful or white so this conclusion follows and next no beautiful is flower no beautiful is flower we only know the relationship between white and beautiful but we don't know the relationship exactly between flower and beautiful some flowers may be beautiful or some flowers may not be beautiful we can't say it definitely exactly so this conclusion doesn't follow. So our answer will be conclusion 2 and 3 follows. So uh, option C is the correct answer. Let us go for another example. See our example 2. The statement says some tigers are panthers and no lion is a tiger. See in this conclusion these both statements are possibility statements. See some panthers being lions is a possibility and panthers which are not tigers being lions is a possibility. Okay, let us go for first conclusion. Okay, first we have to draw the Venn diagram, right? For these statements, some tigers are panthers. Some tigers are panthers and no lion is a tiger. No lion is a tiger. Okay, okay. Clear? Now go to the conclusions. First conclusion says, some panthers being lions is a possibility. So first for possibility statements, we have to draw another rough diagram. So this is the first, uh, first conclusion rough diagram. See, some panthers being lions is a possibility. We have to draw the complete diagram but which satisfies this conclusion so here we see some panthers being lions is a possibility okay some panthers being lions is a possibility and some tigers or panthers as we know now let us see whether this figure satisfies both the statements or not some tigers or panthers some tigers or panthers so first statement is satisfied next coming to the next statement no lion is a tiger no lion is a tiger clear so both statements are satisfied. So our conclusion 1 follows. Next, 
panthers which are not tigers being lions is a possibility here he is talking about the panthers which are not tiger means this part this is the part of the panthers which are not tigers he says this panthers being lions is a possibility he says this panthers might be lions so here i have represented on the diagram so this panther this yellow part represents the panthers which are not tigers so he says this panthers these all panthers being lions I I roughly uh, approximate approximately drawn this diagram because we can't show all the part. So this panthers, this yellow part, this panthers, which is not tigers, being lions, is a possibility. Okay, this is the rough diagram. Now let us see whether it satisfies both the statements or not. Okay. So here, first statement is some tigers are panthers. Some tigers are panthers satisfied. And no lion is a tiger. Okay, no lion is a tiger. See, no lion is a tiger. This is also satisfied. Okay, so both the statements are satisfied. So our conclusion two also follows. Okay, let us also see another example. Here comes our example three. This state. This says. All lawyers are perfect, and all doctors are also perfect. So, okay, let us see the diagram. It shows all lawyers are perfect, and also all doctors are perfect. So, let us see the conclusions. Some lawyers may be doctors. Okay, our conclusion one says some lawyers may be doctors. This is also a possibility statement. So, we have to draw possibility diagram, right? It says some lawyers may be doctors. Okay. Consider this as lawyers. And consider this as doctors. Okay, this says some lawyers may be doctors. So let us complete the diagram, and all these are perfect, right? Okay. So some lawyers may be doctors. So let us see the statements whether it satisfies the statements or not. Or not. All lawyers are perfect. It shows all lawyers are perfect. This is perfect. Okay, this shows all lawyers are perfect and all doctors are perfect. All doctors are also perfect. So this this figure satisfies both the both the statements. So this condition follows. Next, coming to the next statement, all perfect or either lawyers or doctors. If you observe it, this is not a possibility statement. This is a direct statement. It says all perfect or either lawyers or doctors. It means that all perfect or lawyers or all perfect or doctor doctors. But our figure shows both lawyers and doctors. Both lawyers and doctors are perfect. So we can't say that only lawyers are perfect or only doctors are perfect. So this conclusion doesn't follow. So conclusion two doesn't follow. Only conclusion one follows. So our answer is only conclusion one follows. So I hope you are clear with the possibility statements, and th this is all about uh, syllogisms. If you want to know and learn more problems, subscribe to our channel, Learn Like Pro. Thank you.